The Coast Guard is also seeing an increase in calls with the onset of summer. More people on the water ends up meaning more people needing help. But a rescue this weekend was a bit different for the crew based out of French Creek. They hit the water fast and hard after hearing a distress call, but as CTV's Jed Bassie shows us, it wasn't coming from a boat. They were doing maintenance on the French Creek 1 when the distress call came over the radio. So it was a quick decision, jump in the fast boat. Uh, we had an idea where to go, we had a last known position. They bolted across these waters towards Schooner Cove, searching for the downed aircraft. And as soon as we got in the area, it was almost immediate. Uh, we saw two people in the water. One guy had his hand up and uh, really fortunate. Within 20 minutes, the Coast Guard was in this area. Orange PFDs caught their attention. They snagged the pilot and the passenger out of the water and took them to Schooner Cove Marina, where paramedics were waiting. The pilot must have done a great job of landing that aircraft in the water because, uh, you know, they were in pretty good shape, all things considered. These two men were on their way to Gillies Bay on Texada Island when the engine of their home-built airplane seized. They ditched the plane in the ocean. The pilot was doing 45 knots when the plane hit the water. They made it out of the aircraft before it was swallowed by the sea. They tried to swim ashore, um, wind and tide, you know, and you're, you're fatigued. It's so hard to swim, especially at that time, that length of time, being in the water. It's really hard to get ashore, even if it's 50 feet away. It's, uh, it could, might as well be 100 miles away. It was this unit's 72nd successful search and rescue mission of the year. In this office, a four-man crew works a two-week on and two-week off rotation. They have a 40-kilometer radius to cover. With more boats in the water, their call load has spiked. The secret of their success is having personnel on standby 24-7. They were fortunate um, that there were vessels of opportunity in the area, you know, to search for them. And we just happened to be there, you know, like I say, uh, quickly. 20 minutes from here, that's, uh, that's going pretty quick. The men did not have any visible injuries, just shaken up by the crash. Luckily for these two, the French Creek Coast Guard was in the right place at the right time. Jeff Bassey, CTV News, French Creek.